Three, two, one. All right, you Halo. <laughs> no. Maybe don't throw it. <laughs> All right, Halo boys and girls, you nerds alike. This is Jonathan and Simon. Simon and Jonathan are uh, with the OG members of the SS Motion, and arguably together the uh, largest collection of Halo Mega Blocks on the planet. So yeah, we own a lot of plastic. We, we got a lot of plastic. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing many favors for the environment. Sometimes you gotta. Yeah, I recycle, even if it's all just burnt in massive factories. Who knows? When um, the oceans rise, I've got plastic to build a wall. Here today, we're gonna be reviewing some Banished uh, because the Covenant are already. Uh, pretty much extinct in the Halo universe, so we gotta make some more and these ones they're badder than ever But also die the same so here we are building and reviewing the banished ghost run and banished Banshee brawl Let's do the ghost first. It's gonna be it's gonna be smaller. So this was a set that came out like two years ago Oh, I just realized we're going to be reviewing the box. That's going to be awkward. <laughs> Simon's late to the game. He's not been in the UK. He's not been collecting. He's not been down with the cool kids. But now, guess who's back, baby? This is intensely wrapped. Yeah, they, they really didn't want you to get to that brute. No. Maybe they don't want the brute getting to you. Hey! Always laughing at those funny looking heads. Immediately, I'm seeing that there is no chest plate. Shitting me. Hey! It's in there. Just kidding, dude. Oh. Jonathan has PTSD from missing parts in Mega Block sets. Oh, I had six Banshees missing pieces. They said, oh, we don't believe you. I sent them a picture of 20 Banshees. No reply. And they have never, ever replied to me ever again. So we got a Brute, and he's looking pretty good. Da -da -da -da. Cue some Halo music. That doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. It looks weird. You're missing a clear tile. Yeah. yeah. And look at that. You pop that brute straight in. I don't think brutes drive these in the game, but hey ho. They don't. They don't. Who does? Elites? Elites, yeah. If you look at the game, Halo Wars 2, that is. It's, it's all elites in these. He's got his head down. I don't think he knows where he's going. I think going. he's asleep at the he's wheel. He's drunk though. at the wheel. Yeah. yeah. They got the. Banshee. This is how he is treats the little sets. piece that came out. Uh, a little bit of cardboard. Okay. It's, I think this is one of the nicest pieces ever. Look at that. I just love this Banshee kind of piece, like the printed detail actually. and the paintwork. That is gorgeous. Like I know that's so nerdy to say, but man, look at that. Look at the paint. I mean, you, you compare that to like the old Mega Block stuff. Oh god, it was terrible. A man's got to appreciate paintwork. He killed him. A Halo Mega Blocks honest review. We're going to talk about what we like, what we don't like, and we're going to be very honest because we don't care about paid sponsorships anymore. R.I.P. Tim from Mega. Only a select few shall get that reference. Uh, here we are today talking about some banished sets. Who cares when they came out? Maybe you don't know about them. Maybe you've never seen them before. Maybe you've never heard a review quite like ours. Uh, let's start with the small boy. We've got this banished ghost. What's your opinion, Jonathan? It feels basic. It looks a bit basic. It does the job, but like it just looks incomplete. I mean, you've got this like massive gap on the side. It feels weird. Man, um, like when I first put these wings in, like granted I did it a little incorrectly, but even still, feels real off. And they have this big gap here that makes no sense. No printed detail, and this is like a $15 set. Some seats would be nice. The brute sort of just dangles in it, and it, it's it's okay. And you know, these sets are usually just for for beginner collectors picking the sets up, but. For me, I've seen this all before. They've not updated these pieces since some high ground. It's got some really good printed details. The silver really works well. It reflects off this light very nicely. It's got some handlebars, but really they've gone back in time on those as well. They're not as good as old ones. I think they're actually a bit better because they do because of the pivot. They allow a, like, a figure to get hold of them. Posability. Yeah. That's if you true. compare that to like the old ones, the, the elites could hardly ever get hold of it. That's true. Even with the old sets, there were some that had a big piece coming out here. Yeah. Yeah. And it really looked like it was levitating. Yeah, that's just a mild hover. Yeah, this is okay. I, I get it. You gotta you gotta push some banished sets. Halo Wars 2 is really all you've got to go on right now. But let's talk about what really is good. This banished figure is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I'm a huge fan. This silver makes it look incredibly menacing. It's got some great red highlights here. The build itself, the new articulation just continues to impress me. And all the removable armor is fantastic. It's really satisfying to build. This new Bruchot is fantastic. Gone are the days where it has a big jarring piece at the back, a big stud that goes into the back. You can actually hold it like in game. It's like the first banish they did, I think. 
and they really hit it home. So pretty terrible vehicle, but you know, the figure's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the big boy. First thing that just stands out for me, I, I, I would start with the vehicle, but I just have to pay attention to this. This Spartan laser. Ooh, buddy, is it just, it's just so gorgeous. Like, this is just, the sculpting detail on that is unreal. Yeah, considering they got away with using that original sculpt for so many years and they just shouldn't have. Yeah and they finally did this, they really, I, I'm glad that they finally did it. I look at this figure, I don't know about you, I can hear this figure. I know exactly what's going on right now. No, that's Mjolnir Mark IV actually, it's from Halo Wars. We just got the new anniversary Hawk in the mail, and bam, that is just a, a far more gorgeous metallic green. Metallic green's Ooh. definitely the way to go. All right, yeah, we got the Banished Elite. Fantastic, I, I immediately noticed that the, the neck has a lot of gap there, but that's, yeah, that's not the I worst think thing. On the actual game design, it's like an undersuit there, but like they've not painted it on or they've not mm. sculpted it, whatever. Plasma rifle, very standard. Um, it's but the wrong color though. Uh, yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's, that's the brute uh, plasma rifle color. Oh, like yeah, that's true. Form. If there's one thing Jonathan is picky on, it's correct colors on, yeah. uh, on figures and I, sets. I think it's just lazy. Well, not no, to it's, it's, do it. it is a little bit lazy. Right next to this one, you can tell they're batting for the same team. Round of applause to Mega Bloks for the figures. Let's hear, it, let's hear it for the figures. Would you say the best Banshee ever made? Uh, up till two days ago, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I've just got that new Banshee with the Hawk. And yeah. uh, that now knocks this off the top pictures spot. do look amazing. We've had at least like 12 or 13 banshees, oh, right? Yeah. Like absolutely loads. So yeah, they've come a long way with that. But also the exact same as the Spartan laser. It's actually boosting through the battle. Yeah, so the ones underneath in the middle of the body, they do fire. Phew! Oh, Whoa, uh, that fire yeah, fast. Yeah, got some force. Have I lost that now? No, it's right next to me. <laughs> there you go. You're fine. You're right next it. to me. That was pretty good. In theory, the ones on the wings are like ammo to reload mm. it with. Yeah, because you um, will lose those. Yeah. In the game, they'll, I don't know, like some sort of flashlight. So it's good that Mega have kind of mm. copied that. This scratching is gorgeous. The way this is sleek and slimline, very nice. All together, uh, fantastic vehicle and just look at that cockpit that is have you ever seen a better cockpit? I think it's the best Banshee. I mean, it's the best Banshee I've ever seen I'm sure when I see the Hawk one I might think differently, but you know what? I haven't seen the Hawk one So what would I know? Oh, Jonathan, what, what would you if, what, how would you review that out of ten? Ghost value for uh, money. There we go. Three yeah. two one three. Four. Sorry. Yeah. I was so delayed. It's fine. Four. It's not good It's not a very good ghost pure sex appeal of the brute <laughs> Three, two, one, solid ten. ten. Yeah. yeah, solid ten. Let's talk about the Banshee. Uh, well, if you can see it, little, uh. little tall there. Quality, three, two, one. It's a nine. nine. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 almost perfect. Rating these figures with their weapons out of ten. Three, two, one, five, seven. The elite full marks. But then the whole thing gets dragged down by the Spartan. I just the Spartan laser is amazing. Yeah. But I don't know. I just don't like that silver visor. The green's a bit too bright. Mm. You know, it's the green is right. a bit too bright. But that yeah. that elite that elite's got to get some points back. Yeah. Uh, in in terms of the. Well, that's why I didn't rate it one. Wait, do these rings come up and down? <laughs> it's just how it's built. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan, you got any last words of wisdom? No. Nope. Other than thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, see you next time. Ah, oh, he's dead. <laughs>